Hi guys, welcome back to the Batcave and this week's movie review, The Nice Guys. Now this is actually a Shane Black film and if you're not familiar with Shane Black films, he is behind properties such as Lethal Weapon, um, Long Kiss Goodnight, uh, Last Action Hero, The Last Boy Scout, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and Iron Man 3 if you're a fan of Iron Man 3. <laughs> um, is actually going to star Russell Crowe, it's going to star Ryan Gosling, but we also get appearances from uh, Keith David, from Kim Basinger, and uh, Margaret Qualley. And if you don't know who Margaret Qualley is, she's actually from the HBO series The Leftovers, which is actually a really interesting series, so if you guys get a chance, go, go watch that. Not now, but later. Alright, so the plot of this film is that it's an action comedy, which if you're a Shane Black fan, you know that he does action comedy. That's his whole thing. And it's set in the 70s era at the height of the porn industry is the world that they set up in here. But it's going to take uh, Ryan Gosling's detective character and Russell Crowe's uh, enforcer type character. Kind of gets things done if you pay him type type person uh, they get forced together to investigate the death of a porn star now that's pretty much the premise of this film I don't want to get in too far into it because then I'll start revealing spoilers and that's not what we do on these particular reviews now but what we do on these particular reviews is talk about the goods and the bad so like always we'll start with the goods first now, the goods of this film, what I really liked about this film is that it's original. Shane Black does do original films outside of Iron Man 3. <laughs> he does like to come up with his own thing. So this one's original. It's not a reboot of an old existing property. It's not a sequel. Um, it's not a rework of something else. Something completely new. So I really like watching new refreshing ideas on screen. So that was one thing that was really happy to see with this particular film. Other things that I liked about this film is the chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. They actually work so well on screen, their dialogue back and forth. I mean, you can see if this is going to be, i.e. like a lethal weapon-ish. No, not totally lethal weapon-ish. But you can see that he can make a franchise out of these particular characters and involve them in other stories and other movies going forward. So I would love to see what they would do with them going in another type of story. Now, uh, other things that I liked about this film is the setting. Because a lot of times um, when they do period pieces, they just kind of give you a couple sets, dress them up, put some people in some old clothes and say, okay, now we're in, we're in the 70s, we're in the 80s, we're in the 50s. In this particular one, they really did build out the world. Shane Black even came out and said that, you know, he was building a world for this particular film. But, you know, the buildings, the cars, the backdrops, everything in this film made you feel like you were watching something from the 70s. And if you saw the trailer that they had out there, then they definitely sold you on it being a 70s type film. Um, that's all I really had far as the goods. I mean, it's an action comedy. So I love action comedy, so it had already had a plus points for me there. Uh, so I guess we're going to go ahead and move to the bads. <sighs> the bads about this film is that with the story that they gave you with investigating the death of a porn star, they went left. Or that's right. They went left. <laughs> And as far as where they took that, because they wanted to make it bigger than what it really was, it became this whole other thing that just got overly complicated and confusing. And I'm sitting there like, I don't even remember how this ties together anymore. So that part kind of like kind of eh, because it, it was it wasn't as if they were like, oh, they just kind of mentioned something a little complicated, but it was a big part of the story. This is a two hour film and it, the the death of this porn star was the overall was the overall theme of the movie. So to keep explaining all these little intricacies on what was happening was was it was just too much. It was just too much. The story was just too overcomplicated. Uh, other things that I didn't like with this film is that because it's action comedy, it has to balance between the two. So the comedy portion of it went from slapstick to, you know, funny scenes, funny situations, and it would just kind of bounce all over the place like it didn't know what type of comedy it wanted to be. And then we go into the other parts of the film, it got dramatic, and then it was like super action-y, and it just, everything was just too much at one time and all over the place. I never felt like a common theme going through the film. Maybe I would have preferred just a full action film or a full comedy movie and maybe just in this particular story it just didn't merge well so that was the thing that i had i had a problem with the with the particular film other thing that i had a problem with and this is probably a minor thing but i thought it was a major thing because the daughter of ryan gosling's character has a major part in this film and their relationship 
was also kind of all over because she starts off as being real protective of him and having all these hopes in, in how she views him. And then it would go to like she didn't even like him. So I, I didn't understand what they were trying to do with her particular character. Now they do include, in case you guys have already seen it, they do include some backstory to some of her feelings, but I felt like it was so tacked on if they ever don't ever make another movie, there was no point to even having that in there. They should have just had her character one particular way and had that go out. But now they threw in this other thing to the plot and the story of this film where to, to explain it, but now I got other things on my plate as I'm trying to figure out the overcomplicated plot that's going on. But I'm not gonna beat it to death. Those are the things that I had problems with with the film. So I always end with these or like, did I like it? It was okay. It was okay. I'm hit or miss with Shane Black. Not everything he does I find is a masterpiece and other things I really, really love. Last Boy Scout, really, really love. Last Action Hero, really, really love. Iron Man 3, eh, eh, not really. Lethal Weapon, I'm not the biggest Lethal Weapon fan, eh. So, I mean, I haven't seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bangs. I heard it's good. As a matter of fact, everybody in the theater totally got this movie. I feel like I'm the only person that did not get this movie. Uh, people were laughing. People kept saying that uh, if you saw Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, then you should love this film. And I didn't see Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and maybe that's my problem. I didn't have the prerequisite that was required for this film. Uh, but should you see it? I would say if you're a Shane Black fan, definitely go out and see it. If you are a fan of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, definitely go out and see it. If you are 99.9999999% of the rest of the world who adore Shane Black's films, Go out and see it. I'm just a point zero 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 one that does that's like I said, just hit or miss with it. But um, maybe I'm just the one person that didn't like it. I'm sure you guys will probably do. And if you don't, please share with me. Make sure that I don't feel like I'm just the lone person that didn't really enjoy the film. I don't hate it. Like I said, it's just okay. It comes out on video. Maybe I'll give it another shot. But as of right now, I'm just eh. Well, that's all I got for this particular movie review. I'm going to do another one coming up soon. Um, I believe Neighbors is probably next. But uh, make sure in the comments uh, you tell me if you like this, this film or help me explain what I missed. <laughs> Maybe some of the jokes. And uh, make sure you like if you, uh, if you guys enjoyed this so I can keep doing these. And subscribe so that way you can know about other films or not other films but other videos that we do. And uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.